here's the start. We come down this way. I thought I'd show you guys here uh, one of the hazards of building modules in your garage in wintertime. You can see I have a pretty substantial sun kink just setting them up out here behind the house. Of course it is 85 degrees today. Um, this track, I was going to cut isolate uh, expansion gaps and I haven't done that yet so I'm going to go get my Dremel and do that right now. Run this up here. So these could be some leftover box cars from uh, Way Freight that came through and our little local is going to come and pick them up and move them on to where they belong. Uh, so far, get out of here, fly. The, uh, the blue points work really well and this will take some testing because I've, you know, this is the first time running it. This is its maiden voyage here. Back it up. We got five cars there. That's probably enough clearance. I'll have to paint some clearance markers. So basically what I did to clean my track, I rubbed it down with my pink eraser and then I've got just sudsy ammonia paper towel just to lightly clean the top it doesn't really well, leaves a nice lemon fresh scent but it doesn't really leave much residue let's uh, back this all the way down the siding and see how we do looks pretty smooth at the join Conductor needs to come down here and throw the switch, but we're just gonna carry on like he did. This is actually the main through track, but so we'll go into the passing siding. So I think you've got room for about an eight car train. Let me get three more on here uh, with a caboose. You can pull up a little further, but plenty of room. All right, we'll continue on down to the other end of the layout. So this is my older fill module. It'd probably be better if I uh, Gave it to you from the other side. First experimented with the ground cover. And down here is the first experiment with uh, static grass. Not particularly pleased with that, but we'll uh, keep working on it. Before it heads into the shadow there. So there's your passing track. Everybody's going through the turnout nice. Swing around to the other side and uh, watch it go across the uh, module join here.
through the other turnout. And I got a little bit of mismatch here on the, the joint at this end. Not bad, but just a little bit of a bump. And then it goes through my uh, my hill module, where there's a cut. I always want to give my uh, module some reason for the track to be curved and whatnot. Yes, this is important. I just keep a little, few little chunks of my fascia material, uh, just to clamp at the end of the module so you don't have an accident. But that runs pretty smooth. Uh, other thing I'll point out to you is I'm only using half the number of legs. So I've got two legs at this end, but zero legs at this end of this module. I've got two legs at this end of this module, and no legs at that end, two legs at the first end, and that module has all four legs on it just to set up. Um, and then the other module down there is only using two legs. You know, you may want to have all four legs on it if you're setting up in a group thing where you're going to be moving the modules around, but for just testing, this works fine. And I need to build a bunch more legs. I got my uh, conduit leaned up against the garage there. I got to make some more. I just got that the other day. And Bert made me a little uh, Digitrax Zephyr pocket. We just hold on here with some spring clamps and uh, great for testing. Talk to you later.